We are interested in utilizing Kisa recruiting antibody constructs for the treatment of AML. And these constructs recruit T cell through the engagement um, to CD3 on T cells. And if you look at textbook, Jane Way, how T cells get activated, it's always um, the case that you need two or even three signals. So you need the engagement with a T cell receptor that is mimicked by CD33. But for uh, activation, at least of a naive T cell, you also need positive co-stimulatory signals like engagement of CD28. So we developed a preclinical in vitro model system where we use marine buff 3 cells which we transduce with CD33 as a target antigen but also different positive but also negative co-stimulatory molecules to look at the relevance of these molecules on um, activation of the T cells through T cell recruiting antibody constructs. And what we could show is that clearly if you add 80 or 86 as positive co-stimulatory molecule, you have an enhanced T cell proliferation and an enhanced T cell mediated cytotoxicity of AML cells. But interestingly, if you then also co-transfuse PDL1 into these cells, this effect is abrogated. So it has a dominant negative effect. In our prior work, we could show that T cell recruiting antibody constructs in Induce pro inflammatory cytokines like interferon gamma and TNF, and that induces upregulation of PDL1. So we are concerned that T cell recruiting antibody constructs through secretion of pro inflammatory cytokines also upregulate negative inhibitory signals and that these overrule even coexisting positive costimatory molecules. So uh, we hypothesize that the addition of a checkpoint molecule inhibi inhibiting antibody construct will clearly enhance the efficacy of these recruiting antibody constructs.